Hi everyone and welcome to another video at Life as a Med Student. My name's Nabil and I'm a final year medical student studying in the UK. In today's video I'm going to be talking about productivity tips for anyone with or considering buying a MacBook. For anyone that follows the channel you might know that I recently bought an M1 MacBook Air and you can check out my first week impressions of the laptop in the link that's in the description. So in the past few weeks of using the MacBook Air I've discovered this one game-changing feature that I now use all the time to help me with my medical school coursework. So I decided to do this video on that and other MacBook features that help me to work more efficiently. Now a few of these sort of features I only discovered literally in the past few weeks uh, and some of them I've actually been using for years now. But if you're interested in videos like this, study tips or my life as a med student in general, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. So kicking things off, I don't know how long this feature has been around for but quite how I've not been using it for all this time is something I'm kicking myself for. And it's all down to this little button here. It's the dictation tool that lets you talk into the laptop and it converts your speech into text. And you might need to go onto system preferences to ac activate it like this. So if you search for dictation and there you can decide which button will activate the dictation feature. Some of you might have known about this feature for ages now but like I said I've only just recently discovered it and the reason it's so amazing is that medical students have to keep an online portfolio which contains case reports. Now case reports are written reflections of cases that we've seen in hospital that are interesting or beneficial to our learning and when you write them up they can they don't necessarily have to be formatted brilliantly or even have that great punctuation but they can be quite long and some aspects of them are quite repetitive as well so to be able to turn that process into 63 year old male patient with a background of COPD, comma, asthma and hypertension presented to the emergency department feeling generally unwell, comma, breathless with temperature spikes and episodes of reduced consciousness full stop. Auscultation revealed crackles in the left lung base. That's just awesome. And the feature works on other applications, including Microsoft Word and on Google Chrome as well. Seriously, seriously game changing feature. Next up, using the following features in combination have really helped me to become much more efficient in the way that I work. These features are gestures, full screen windows and hot corner shortcuts and it's easy to just demonstrate how these things work. So if you go onto system preferences again and search this time for gestures, I definitely recommend spending the time to learn some of the gestures that the laptop recommends. Now my favorite ones to use are, say you take two fingers to scroll and that you can go up and down and left to right and you're basically scrolling how you would on a, on a phone in that case and say you've got a larger tab open so say I open this here if you want to see everything that you've got open if you then take three fingers and move up you can see everything that you've got open here and then actually if you look at the top you can also see these extra windows that I have open I always have a chrome tab open on full screen I always leave the mail and calendar apps open as well because these are things that are just constants in my life. To make something full screen you just click on the green screen there. And what I find by doing that is then by again using three fingers you can scroll left and right through each of your windows which again I just find is a more efficient way of going through some of the things that I always have open and never need never have the need to close and that works when you've got a second screen or monitor hooked up too. Hot corner shortcuts, so hot corners work if I again go back to system preferences and search this time for hot corners. So these work by programming certain core, if you move the trackpad to a certain corner it will do a certain function so if I use the trackpad to go to the top right, it will open up all my applications like that. Again, it's just a more efficient way of doing things. And the other thing that I use is putting the display to sleep by going to the top left. 
at the end of the day, it is all about maximizing efficiency with those basic tasks. Utilizing split screen is great for tasks that require you to be looking at multiple documents or documents alongside browser tabs when you're doing your work. So say I open a Google tab and a Microsoft Word tab and then hover over the green button and see here tile window to left and then select say an internet browser and you can have document and browser or document and another document alongside each other to get on with your work and many an essay has been done for me this way but also great for having two internet tabs side by side great for watching multiple football matches alongside each other or I don't know the tennis alongside the football as well so while we've got an internet tab open imagine we're researching a topic I'll go for renal physiology uh, Wikipedia of course let's see if there's a word here that might need some clarification okay interstition so what did I just do then again three fingers if you just tap the trackpad with three fingers you get an instant definition of any word as well as the thesaurus alongside it and you can just see how helpful that could be for well anyone really but definitely students doing research projects or homework I love how quickly this feature works it's brilliant and lastly again I only recently discovered this and I know I'm late to the party on this one but I've got loads of documents PDFs and whatnot and sometimes it's difficult to tell if what I'm about to open is the right thing and if it involves opening say Microsoft Word or the PDF well to make sure that I've opened the right thing and saved me from having to close what I'm about to open if you just click a document and then press the space bar you get an instant preview of what it is you're about to open and I think that also works for videos as well so if you hover over whatever it is you also get that as an instant preview and I just really like that particular feature like I said saves me waiting for an application to open on the wrong file that's it for this video I hope there were some helpful tips in there Maybe you already knew about all of these features, in which case, please do let us know in the comments. Are there any other features that you find help make you more efficient on your MacBook? If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and please do subscribe to the channel for more content. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.